<laughs> Bobby, what do you think of some countries starting to tax red meat? Is it going to end up with meat getting banned or will people wake up in time? Fascinating question. What will happen? The meat tax is obviously the first step into the direction of replacing meat by lab-grown meat and just eradicating our real food supply, just destroying the small-time farmer, replacing everything by big companies, big pharmaceutical complexes and selling it to the mega cities. 100%, this is where it's going. Will they be successful? <sighs> Guys, honestly, I don't see another option, man. I don't want to sound so negative, but sometimes I really believe it is just about living out this time frame. It seems inevitable. I really hope that there will be another way. But once we have the lab-grown meat, it seems there is no excuse left. Once they're able to produce lab-grown meat cheap, there is no excuse left, right? The small-time farmer will get destroyed. They will stop subsidizing the small dairy farmers, the small cattle ranchers. And then they will start replacing all the meat in the supermarkets with lab-grown meat, with plant-based options, so on and so forth. <clears throat> it's a very, very dark picture, a dark future. I do not want to believe that this is real, but on the other hand, I really do not see another way. I am still a transhumanist of sorts. Don't get me wrong, I do understand the danger, especially the danger by those companies that control this movement. Technology on itself is neutral. It's neutral. It comes down to what you do with it. You can use a knife and cut some food with it for you, or you can stab somebody with it, right? The application is the issue. Hence, technology itself is neutral. You can take a car, have a beautiful Sunday ride, or you can run over a bunch of people. It is all about the application. Hence, right now what we see with our technology, with our phones, we get ads, right? Right now we could be talking about potato chips. Next thing you know, you check your phone and out of a sudden Google recommends some potato chips for you. Happened to me, not only once. I was chatting with my girlfriend about religion and next thing you know, out of a sudden I get an ad on my phone about Christian dating apps. Right? Happens. Happens all the time. So hence, where is this going? Once we embed the technology into ourselves, we could literally get flooded by ads, subliminal messages that will control our brains, our minds, will control our consumer rhythm, right? It could all be determined by the guys upstairs. And again, I do not see another option. We just had a talk with my friend here. He was speaking out against smartphones. And I told him, if you hate your smartphone so much, just chuck it in the bin and get a regular flip phone. But he couldn't do it because of his new job, right? He needs that phone. And this will be the case with all the future technology. You will need it. You cannot be without it. You didn't need a smartphone 10 years ago, but now you need it. You cannot be without it. And the same applies to everything else that is coming along, right? Social media and whatnot. You will need it 100%. Your ID card will be embedded as a chip and you will need it. Otherwise you cannot function in this society. So therefore, as I said, what I find beautiful is this split of society. Where is it really going? We are parting ways. People decide to live more rural again, right? To go back to nature. And those people will be able to eat wild animals. And those people will get away. They will go off grid. Those people will be the last true humans, if you will. The rest of us who decides to live in the mega cities will become synthetic. In order to cope with a vegan diet, you need to become synthetic. There is no other way. You need to become a synthetic human being, a cyborg of sorts, in order to cope with this unnatural diet. It is not feasible otherwise. You can not cope with an artificially created diet that we didn't evolve to eat if you do not change your biology. That is impossible. Face that fact, vegans. You will need to change your biology. You will need to become a transhuman in order to be healthy in the future. On top of that, 
the radiation, right? 5G and whatnot, fumes, toxins, all of that. Hence, what will happen, to come back to the original question, what will happen, will we ban meat? Probably, yes, probably we will ban meat. Probably we will ban all the animal foods. Probably we will ban game, animal husbandry. All of it will be gone. And you will have to decide if you want to participate, if you want to live in those cities, or if you want to return to nature and become the last human. <laughs>